Hi, I'm Ryan Lathan with Fort Worth Opera, and I'm here with the wonderful William Burden, one of the stars of our upcoming world premiere Zoom opera, Bernadette's Cozy Book Nook. How are you today? Terrific. Just to, looking so forward to next week. I know. I can't wait to. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for, for chatting with me. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, so you have created many, many new roles in some of the most acclaimed U.S. premieres over the past two decades. As a big, big champion of contemporary opera, what do you find most rewarding about stepping into a character that hasn't been seen on the stage for decades, if not centuries? Yeah, well, that's, it's a great question. I, you know, the, my usual sort of pad answer is, you know, to get to work with a living composer, is, you know, to be able to have the, what is the most collaborative performing art form, opera, uh, to, you know, to be able to do that with all of the people in the mix, a librettist, the composer, our colleagues, the conductor, director, that's, you know, it's it's amazing. It is an, an incredible gift and it, it underscores the collaborative nature of this. But I also, you know, I was thinking about the this question and it um, I am at that point in my life where I can be totally blatantly honest with everyone and say one of the greatest things about getting to create a role is that you don't have to carry with you all the baggage of tradition and history and years. And I, I always think back to the first time I sang Nemorino on stage and I there's this gorgeous bassoon solo that opens Una Furtiva Lagrima in the second act and it's you know there's a light change and very often a scene change and Nemorino comes out on stage and that bassoon starts and it is palpable from the audience you can hear them thinking oh we have Luciano doing this, you know, and you and you have one has to do business with this sense of okay, now this is this is my moment of live performance of this of Nemorino at this moment. When it's a new piece, you don't have any of that. Um, you you really do, um, you know, in a in a broader sense, one can really take on. This, um, the notion of being the instrument of the creation of this character and without any other stuff. And that's great. It's liberating and it is, uh, it's also, you know, energizing and, and really, really exciting to get to do that. Could you share with us your, your Bernadette's Cozy Book Nook experience from the page to the virtual stage? And what was it, you know, what was it like filming this new work and bringing the role of Emmett to life? Well, it was, um, it was particularly unique because of the aspect of filming and Zooming and being remote and isolated and yet, um, the the initial part of the you know the learning getting the score going through it learning the role getting comfortable with it getting ready for what we always in the business call the first day of school which is the day right. we all get together for the first time and um has all that all those nerves and kind of excitement that was all very normal right that's i had 30 years of experience doing that kind of preparing um having the first day of school online was really unique. But what was fun is that we all fell into that sense of we're almost in the same room together and we're, and here we are to try and do this thing. Um, I guess the getting from the score to the performance, the biggest step for me was coping with technology in a way that, you know, I sort of thought I had gotten to that place. I happened to be on the faculty of two of the two conservatories in New York. And so I've been teaching online. And because I am still performing, 
I had actually done uh, online teaching um, over the years, uh, never quite as consistently as now, but um, you know, I'd be singing at San Francisco Opera, and so I would need to keep up with my students at least to a degree so that I didn't have you know, weeks and weeks of makeups. Um, so that part of it, this kind of communication sort of worked, but dealing with recording and cameras and light and all of these other aspects of it, um, you know, really pushed the envelope for Luddites like me. And you know, the sort of, the, the, uh, the crowd of a certain age, for which the live performance experience is what our life experience is. Um, and now we're, you know, being dragged lovingly, kicking and screaming into 21st century electronic, you know, all of the aspects of this. That I, and I think, hopefully, we will take the very best aspects of this forward into the business. I think there's no way that we go back 100%. To, you know, there will always be now these wonderful, unique visual and audio aspects to what we do. And that's really exciting. That is exciting. Do you, do you have any advice for singers who haven't been a part of this, this new medium? Uh, I mean, I guess it's, it would be the same um, advice that I would give in general is just be open to all of the new experience of it. We are in control as singers. Um, we're really, we have a limited number of things over which we have complete control. You know, we learn our music, language, rhythm. You know, we can be comfortable with how we sing. That's what we're in control of. The rest of it, um, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to, to experience this. I knew I didn't know about the technology. So I was delighted to be able to turn it over to you all to the people and to knowing that you would bring in the best people to do that and they would take me by the hand and and bring me along in this. And it's, you know, I learned that early on when I would go to a costume fitting. I I know what I think is going to look good on me, but I also trust that a director and a designer and the and the drapers and the people who are going to make those costumes they want me to look as good as I can. They want me to, to be this character in the very best possible way. And it's, it is part of the collaborative sense of things that we trust everyone to do that. So I would say, you know, find those people who are the best at it, believe them, learn from them, and uh, sort of grow into that. Bill, thank you so much. I My was pleasure. so great to speak with you. Yeah. Um, um, don't miss the amazing William Burden in Bernadette's Cozy Book Nook, January 14th through 24th, streaming on through the FWO Green Room. Visit fwopera.org to get your tickets today. Fantastic. See you all there. Thank you, Bill. A cozy book nook of the future of tomorrow.